Now that's only one way to look at risk assessment. Regardless of which option we choose, there are pros and cons. Let's take a look at the pros for quantitative risk assessment before we move ahead. First off, most assessment is factual. Now, we did mention that there are estimates on probabilities, how often something, a particular threat occurrence, may come up in a particular year. However, the bulk of the data is all factual. It comes from our books. It comes from actual asset values. Once you have the asset values and you have the probabilities as to how often a particular threat can occur, the remainder of the process can be largely automated. You could use a simple spreadsheet, or there are specific software packages that will help you do the quantitative risk assessment. In that case, the majority of the work is done up front in collecting all the information. Once you do end up having all the information collected and you've done the calculations, you end up with specific cost of risk and controls. In other words, you come up with a list of the annualized lost expectancy for a particular threat. That's easy to sort and figure out which threats are going to hit us the hardest. Then you go to the next step and decide what control or what controls can be used to protect your organization from a particular threat. And the controls, just like the threats, will have costs associated with them. That gives you the benefit cost analysis of a particular control. Now, even though a lot of the work can be done in an automated fashion, there are some cons. Number one, it is very information intensive. You have a lot of work to be done. If you want to sit and think about all the different assets that you may have a loss associated with a specific threat, there's a lot of data you have to figure out and go collect. Secondly, the analysis can be sterile. Sterile analysis may decide that, you know, a particular loss of a file server is the worst thing that can happen to your company. But in reality, you may find that having someone break in and deface your website will degrade your perception in the community to such a degree that it actually hurts you long term more so than just having a disk crash. You must consider the organizational personality and decide what is really the worst case scenario.